Well, I'm doing fern life cycle today. We're starting out with the part of the fern that you're normally going to see in your yard. Unlike the moss, where the green part of the moss is the gametophyte, the main big green part of the fern is the sporophyte. The gametophyte for a fern is also green, but that's not the part that we see in our yard. The part that you see outside in the shade somewhere nice, that's the sporophyte, it's two end tissue. On the underside of the sporophyte, we have the sporangia. So these sporangia are clustered together in these little brown dots along the underside of each of these little leaves on the fern. And um, these uh, cluster together to make a sorus. So these little brown dots are sori. So within the sporangia itself, we get meiosis occurring. So here is just one. So this is one um, sporangium. Inside of it, we have meiosis occurring. So we get meiosis happening in here. And then it will break open. to release the spores inside. So these spores, because of the product of meiosis, went from 2N to N. So these spores are all N, they're haploid. Okay, so these spores will disperse and the spores will settle down on the soil and they'll make a little gametophyte. So the little gametophyte is another green part of the plant. And since it's coming about from mitosis of tissue that is haploid, it's also haploid. This is our haploid gametophyte. So it's just coming about from mitosis of a spore. This haploid gametophyte is gonna form antheridia and archegonia on its underside. So if we kinda look at a uh, mature one of these we're going to flip it over onto its underside it's going to have some little rhizoids to help to anchor it to the soil and then it's going to have these little blebs on it and these little blebs are going to be either the antheridia that's the male reproductive tissue antheridia And those are going to produce sperm by mitosis. Or they're going to be archegonia, which produce eggs by mitosis. This is one archegonium. So these sperms are also haploid, as are these eggs. The sperm will travel in water. These are flagellated sperm, so they need water to travel. They're gonna travel in water to the eggs. This is my little brown sperm, and it's gonna travel to the egg. And I mentioned before that this tissue is green tissue of the plant, so I'm just coloring it all in. So once the sperm meets the egg, we get fertilization. And when we have fertilization, the merging of two haploid cells, we get a diploid cell. So we're gonna get a little diploid zygote growing in the archegonium. There we go, just like that. And so this is now gonna be our 2N diploid baby sporophyte. Okay. So this is our little sporophyte. And if we zoom out enough, we'll see that it's growing out of this gametophyte, right? So this archegonium is right on here on the gametophyte. And this little 2N sporophyte is gonna eventually grow up into a whole adult that can undergo meiosis in its sporangia to make these haploid spores.